being party chair, I, it gives me a chance to, to literally go home. And, uh, and as all of you who've spent time with me have, have come to realize, there's no better place than my driveway. And, and I don't long for um, the restaurants and the life of Columbus. Uh, I'm, I'm from Catawba Island, Port Clinton area, and I love Lake Erie, and I'm looking forward to, to doing all I can to, to make our area stronger, whether as a small business person or as a political person. And what do you think about the fact that the person who was elected to replace you is under indictment? Elections have consequences. It's no different than, than what we learned today that Richard Ross directed the Department of Education to tie religious affiliations with public money to make mentoring grants available. Elections have consequences. It's no different than we come to realize this, this odd fascination that uh, largely male members of the House have with, with passing the heartbeat bill. Elections have consequences. What, what we did in 2007, 2006, 2007, 2008, uh, recruiting the right candidate for the district first and then supporting those candidates, you can win those districts. We won a majority of, of the House. Speaker Budish became Speaker because of the work that Joyce Beatty, myself, and others had done with their map. It tells you that Ohio is not a strong red state. It, it is a trending democratic state. And when the lines are drawn fairly, we win. But if, but if wave elections occur, which happened in Ottawa County, and, and a, a, two, a, a three times indicted for felonies is elected to the state house in a narrow election,